make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and let's continue. Hey, my forevers. So today, I am going to tell you guys why I quit MAC Cosmetics. Let's rewind um, from the beginning. Um, the company is a great company. I'm, this is not a video where I'm going to be bashing anyone or bashing the company. No, this is not that video. So if you're looking for that video, search for it somewhere else. It's not on this channel. <laughs> but anywho, um, I was with the company for about seven years. I got hired in, I want to say either 2014 or 2015. I remember it was in April because it was my sister's birthday. So, um, I was with the company for seven years, like I mentioned, and I really enjoyed being with the company. I love learning to do makeup. I can honestly say that's really where I honed in on my um, career and my technique and just getting used to the flow. I started out um, working freelance in Florida, is where I'm originally from, if you know me. And then I moved to Atlanta and I got on the team permanently in 2015 of December. December I became permanent within the company. Um, after that it was great. I met so many great people, met celebrities. Um, just I was able to build my clientele and I started working at Linux. I don't know if I mentioned that. I was working at Linux, the one on Peachtree. Linux for about a good three or four years and then I left the company. I left the company once because at that moment I was like Mac was taking up my life and I'm I'm wanting to you know branch out and do freelance makeup as well like I don't want to just do makeup from the company because I have stuff I need I need more money and you know Mac wasn't cutting those kind of checks Donald Trump. so I left that one time, like four or three years after working at the company, um, was making great money, but I missed the interpersonal meeting people and bonding with people, like genuinely bonding. When you're doing freelance makeup and they're coming to your in-home studio or your studio or wherever you're going, it's, it's so like... It's more so professional. I'm always professional, granted. But when it's in an outside different setting, it's a little bit more professional. Um, I don't feel, and it's, I, I don't know if it's just a me thing or it's someone else, but I feel more like, because this is m my reputation, not saying I was acting an ass at MAC Cosmetics, because I wasn't. But at MAC, I was fun, I was loving, I was energetic, and it's because I was selling, I was selling a product, that's why. Because I was selling a product, I was being a little bit more extra, but not moderately extra. Moderately, moderately extra, I was being. I wasn't over the top. I was still myself, so when it came to doing freelance of my own, because I didn't have to sell anything and people already know what they were going to get because they seen my work, they booked me before or they just seen my work via Instagram or Google, they already know what they're getting. They're sold. They're bought. They're done. They're done. They're done. They're done. They're done. They're done. So I don't have to be extra and say, hey, yeah, I, I, I'm selling. You know, I didn't have to, I didn't have to do all of that. So that that's why I wanted to come back. I miss interacting with people. I miss being fun. I miss selling. I'm a, I'm a people's person. And it wasn't the same doing it on my own um, outside here in the real world. So I came back to the company and then I ended up working at Perimeter Mall um, in Sandy Springs, Dunwoody area. Um, I was then for with the company another three and a half years at Perimeter. Um, I met my great team, Gina, Chelsea, Tache, Chloe, like those were my girls. Those were my girls, um, my ride or die. Um, I met them at that counter and we hit it off. We were cool. We, we were bonding. All of us were bonding. We were great. Um, then COVID happened. Coronavirus! We were furloughed. Um, 
unexpectedly, we were fur furloughed. COVID happened. So after a while, money stopped coming from Mac. Um, sorry, I got to rewind a little bit. Woo! Actually, never mind. Money stopped coming. <laughs> money stopped coming from Mac, and it was just a hoax. So they did this whole like video um, chat. I forgot what it's called. Um, Skype, not Skype, but something like Skype. Um, they did a chat and was saying, "Oh, everybody's gonna, everybody's gonna be able to come back to work, and some people are not gonna be able to come back to work." I was one of the people that was able to come back to the job and there was other people that weren't able to come back to the job and it was a sad a sad a sad time in um some of my relationships I had after a while it just be it, it became we weren't being we weren't able to do makeup we weren't able to really touch people and do all of that so it became a little just down um, due to COVID and you know leaving and all of that. It just became, you know, and then in the back of my head, I'm still thinking. I'm like, again, three years ago, I'm like, um, I could be making way more money, and you know, I'm stuck here, you know, not being able to do what I love, and it sucked. So after a while, I ended up leaving the company again. Um, because also they were cutting pay for one and they were also making us commission and it, it just didn't it didn't sit well with me so I'm like I don't I don't necessarily want to work off commission and I don't want my pay to be lowered like like everybody else we all have bills to be paid we we have stuff to do so while management and upper higher are making bank we're making pennies um so it didn't sit right with me and i'm i was just over the company that that i didn't feel like i could necessarily succeed in even my years being there i expressed to all my management hey i want to do more i want to be in management i want to be a third key and that never happened granted um i was still learning and my fashion wasn't was today so I was still learning and I know the code of conduct and you know the dress to impress and you know upper echelon and all of that I know that and I get that now so it wasn't necessarily taught to me you know but that's what I wanted they I wasn't groomed I you know I wanted to be put in the right direction and that that guidance wasn't necessarily given to me in the company. Um, another reason why I was decided, I'm like, I'm gonna go. Um, so I'm great, I make, I make great money doing my own work and freelance. Um, I still love the company. Um, I'm not sure if I would actually go back, um, but you never know. Um, maybe not to Mac, but to a different company. Um, but I, I still love the company and I still love the people that I've worked with and met and, you know, I, all of that. I have no regrets. I wouldn't change a thing um, because that company has um, made, I want to say that company actually has made me the artist that I am today. So I am Justin Douglas. I beat faces down. Everybody loves my work. and. Hey, what else can I say? Um, that's pretty much it. Um, so that was my story and why I quit Mac. Um, there was a lot more in the company that happened, but I won't I won't necessarily get into it. Um, but I want to say that for the most part, it was enjoyable and I have no regrets. So on that note, thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for my next video. Bye. Yeah, yeah.